Welcome back everyone, I'm Nick. A quick video here today, we're looking at the toggle, which is basically just a switch that we can switch on, switch off, and it's easy to use, it's easy to implement. Let's take a look. All right, we are back in Xcode. And since the last video, I actually updated my Mac to the new operating system, which is Big Sur. And so that's why you might notice that the bars on my Xcode look a little different from the last video just because I updated it. But I did not update Xcode itself, so all of the buttons should be in the same places. Uh, but I just wanted to highlight that. Now in this video we are talking about toggles, so let's create a new file as we always do for this video. Right click the navigator, new file. It's going to be a Swift UI view. And let's call this toggle bootcamp. Once you're inside, click resume on the canvas and let's get coding. So let's start off very simply by adding a toggle to the screen. We will delete the text and let's add toggle. Open the parentheses and we're going to use the is on and label completion just because I think it's the most dynamic. Let's hit enter on that and like we usually do, let's put the parameters on separate lines. So hit enter before is on and then enter before label. And we can see the is on needs a boolean which right now is set to a constant of true and the label right now just says label. So when we look at our preview here, we can see that all this really is is a text label on the left side and then a toggle switch on the right. Now it's set to constant true and that's why the switch looks like it's on. If we change this to false, the switch will look like it's off. But this constant doesn't really work in an actual app. So what we need to do is make a binding for this. So at the top, let's create a variable. We'll do at state var. We'll call it toggle is on of type bool and we'll set it equal to false. Let's get rid of this dot constant and instead we'll bind it to toggle is on with the money sign. Now if I resume the canvas and pl press play on the live preview, we can actually toggle the switch by clicking it on and off. So this is very simple but also very useful in your apps. If you ever have something where the user needs to select like on off or uh, yes no, this toggle switch is very handy. We can customize this green color by calling dot toggle style. And then if we start typing in toggle style, we have this switch toggle style. Click enter on that and I'll open the parentheses and then there is a tint option here. And on the tint, let me make it one line here. And on the tint, we can add any color we want. You can see that this is a color. So let's add color.red and we'll check it out. Let's click it and we can see that it's red. We can even add our own custom colors here. We can do color, color literal. Let's double click the literal and then we can actually add any color in the world that we want. So let's do this purple color. Click resume on the canvas and now we have a nice purple toggle. Now this is pretty much the whole gist of this video, just adding this toggle. But let's add a little bit of the screen here to make it a little more realistic as if this was an app. So let's put our toggle into a V stack. I'm going to hold the command button, click on the toggle, and we are going to embed in a V stack. Let's add a spacer below the toggle. So we push it to the top. And above the toggle, let's add an H stack. The first text will say status with a colon. And then let's add another text to the right of that one. So text. And in this text, we're going to say whether or not we are online or offline based on this toggle. So we'll use a ternary operator and we'll say if toggle is on, question mark. If it's on, let's say online. Otherwise, we'll say offline. Let's format these texts. Let's give them a font of title. And then let's change this label so it doesn't just say label. We'll say change status. And I don't like how this toggle is all the way full screen. As you can see, it's by default, it's maximum width of infinity. So let's add some padding around this V stack. Let's just add dot padding, dot horizontal, and maybe 50. Let's do a little more actually. Let's do uh, 100, that looks better. 
And that's pretty much it for this video. Let's check it out. We can now click on our toggle. And when we click it, the status switches from online to offline. And of course, we can do other things when we switch this because this is just a state variable Boolean. And we know that we can use this state variable for a whole bunch of different things like showing sheets or performing animations. But this video is just focused on this toggle and now you know how to implement one. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking. And I'll see you guys in the next video.